San Francisco is known for many things, but most notably for being a little bit weird. And I mean that in the best possible way. So today I'm gonna show you the weird, the unusual, the quirky spots that San Francisco and the Bay Area have to offer. And for starters, I'm sitting on it. The Wave Organ is a sculpture that was constructed on the shore of San Francisco Bay in May 1986. The Wave Organ interacts with the waves of the bay and conveys their sound to listeners at several different stations. The best part? It's completely free to visit. I think it's up my name. If you've ever had a deep-seated desire to walk the plank, this next stop is sure to hook your attention. From peg legs and hand hooks to spy glasses and treasure chests. Land ho! This place is run by the nonprofit A26 Valencia, which is dedicated to supporting students with creative writing skills and inspiration. So while this is an amazing place to visit and it's free to browse, a little donation is a great idea. Aren't you glad we came here? I'm, I'm judging the fish, guys. I was mopped. Why? Why me? If you are interested in a quirky walk down memory lane, take a quick jaunt from San Francisco to Burling Games Pez Museum. Yes, that's right, folks, a Pez Museum. Let's go inside. There are over 900 unique pieces, as well as the world's largest Pez dispenser. I chatted with owner Gary Doss to find out more. Hi, Gary. Hi, how are you? I'm so good. Thank you Welcome. so much. So this is a great place you have here. I would love to know how you got the idea to collect these dispensers in the first place. So I've been a collector now for 24 years. Wow. I was at an antique show and I saw somebody selling Pez and I said basically the same thing. Who collects Pez? Yeah. What a silly thing to collect. And that is why I collect Pez. It's a silly thing to collect. So the lady in the poster is holding what the first Pez dispenser looked like. That was introduced in 1950. Ooh. They are 67 years old. Now, Pez have always been made in Austria. Yeah. It is not an American product. When you bought the first one, you only got one candy flavor. And that's very sad. Well, <laughs> if you liked peppermint, you were very happy. Okay. But a lot of kids didn't like peppermint. But this is how you say peppermint in German. Okay. Pfeffermint. Thank you. And it's when you abbreviate that German word that you get P E T. Love it. That's where Pez comes from. I think I'm really into this psychedelic one. That'll, um, this psychedelic hand eye thing. I think it's pretty groovy. It, <laughs> that for those of us that was there, that screams 1968. <laughs> so yeah, that's called the the psychedelic eye or the love pez. Ooh, the love pez. All right, Gary. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here. Thanks for coming. It's been a treat. In need of some entertainment to cap off an already fantastic day in San Francisco? Well, look no farther than Aunt Charlie's, honey. Not only does this place have the cheapest drinks in the Tenderloin, it's also got the Hot Box Girls, a drag view that's popular among hip locals and bewildered tourists alike. You must check out some of San Francisco's veteran drag queens and celebrate the city's fabulous history and proud culture. The show may just be $5, but tips are always appreciated. And reservations? They're definitely recommended because this place gets packed. You're totally gonna wanna be upfront for this one. <laughs>